Hey, what's up, Pittsburgh? It's your girl Nat here, ready and rocking for the weekend rundown right here in the Cultural District. I'm so excited to be here because the first thing on my list is actually going to take place here on Friday. So that's right. So on the 12th, on Friday from 5.30 p.m. all the way to midnight, it's going to be the gallery crawl after dark. So if you haven't heard of that and you're a little artsy, you have to check it out. It's actually going to be different film screenings, art exhibits, live music, a little hodgepodge of everything right here in the heart of the culture district. Next thing on my list is an annual occurring event and that's going to be the Grand Prix, the vintage Grand Prix. So if you're kind of into old cars, 60s, 50s, Jags, Mustangs, BMWs, Alfa Romeos, you name it, they got it. And it's actually going to be up at the Pittsburgh International uh, Raceway. And that's about like a few minutes like northeast of Pittsburgh. So we're gonna put the link and everything in there, but you gotta check it out. The next thing on my list is going to be the Swiss Bell Edible Garden Tour. So this is a cool thing. It's the inaugural kickoff to this for all my Swiss Bellions out there. Come together, check out like 15 different um, gardens throughout the borough, ending with this like cool thing coming together. You can learn, get inspired, whether you have a green thumb or not, it's kind of something cool and uh, a little bit different to do. Okay, so the next thing on my list is actually gonna be in the North Shore neighborhood, and that's the Pittsburgh Beer Fest, everybody, down at Stage AE. It's gonna be both on Friday and Saturday night, kicking off at 6.30. Come and check out hundreds of different craft beers, do lots of fun samplings, and have a really good time. And the best part about this is it actually gives back to charity. So the Animal Rescue Partners, all the proceeds go to the Burr Babies. On Saturday at PNC Park, it's the Walk for Epilepsy. So come and join me and Milani's Unicorns and have a great morning in the park walking for a cause. And the biggest thing going on this weekend is one of the coolest event happenings of the summer in Pittsburgh. It is the Deutsch Town Festival, baby, the music festival in Deutschtown. For anybody who lives in the suburbs and you want to come into the city and you don't know where Deutschtown is, it's right on the North Shore. It is this really cool, unique little neighborhood because we have so many. And again, the theme of Nat Around Town is actually about all the neighborhoods. Deutschtown voted best festival, music festival since 2016. So you've got to come and see Deutschtown if you have. So of course, every single week, I love to feature a new business, a small business, a place in the burg, baby. So if you have a place that you want me to come and represent, make sure you reach out to me. Tonight, we're actually going to be here at Bridges and & Bourbon, and I'm so excited. This place is brand new and is off the chain. Kind of a little Chicago vibe going on in the burg, which I love. So let's go in. Hey, hey what's up, David? How are you? Oh my gosh, it's so nice to see Okay, yeah, so I know I'm so excited. Okay, everybody, let's go in. Let's talk. Look at this place. Oh my gosh, it is amazing. We have so much I want to cover, and a lot of it is about the presentation and even the first step yeah. when you walk in the door. So we're going to do a little tour right now at Bridges and Bourbon with David. Okay, you got some cool stuff to kind of show this place off, so that way when people come, they can kind of recognize it and become a little bit familiar about this spot. Okay, let's go check it out. Come point them out. Let's go. So we have uh, 48 linear feet of bourbon in whiskey. Uh, Honey, I'm all, home. All underlit. Uh, the lower levels are our regular like cordials, vodkas, gins. See, honestly, I'm a huge bourbon fan, so I am completely in awe and fascinated, and I cannot wait to try it. Hi, I'm Natalie. It's nice to meet you. Thank you. Okay, so welcome to Bridge of Bourbon. I'm super excited. Yes. Okay, so tell me a little bit about what we're making right now. Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna make you is a sake sour. Uh, okay. All right, let's do this. Chip and dip for a reason. Okay, so tell me about 
Tell me a little bit about it. It's a giant rice chip, and then the dip is a avocado puree with whitefish roe and some chopped up seasonings in there. Wow. David, this is like mind blowing. That is, that is Dave okay, I'm going in. That. Just whack that shit. Really? Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> Now we're ready to move on to our second tapas. Look at this incredible dish right here. Okay, David, tell us a little bit about it. It is a piki toe crab, which is the most luxurious crab from the Atlantic. Okay. Um, it's served with shaved onion and uh, green onion, and it is with a faux egg yolk, and it's warmed in butter. A faux egg yolk and warmed in butter. Okay, I may have just drooled in my mouth a little bit because this looks phenomenal. So it's time for a little dessert right now, and we have some frozen yogurt. Tell me a little bit about this. It's lemon frozen yogurt with blueberries inside, and what you need to do, it's frozen with liquid nitrogen. You just give it a good whack with your spoon, and it'll come apart. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm ready. Let's do it to it. Yeah. I'm sitting here and I'm kind of noticing you guys actually do the reusable plastic straws and these special guys. Yeah. And there's something special about this. What is it? Yeah, what is these it? are our strawless ocean straws. So it's not only paper straws, but paper straws for a cause. And it shows you that like when people look at them, strawless ocean is to get straws out of the ocean. Uh, we're the only place in Pittsburgh highlighting it. And to us, it's not just about using paper straws. Like, yeah, paper straws is good, but it's also right. about bringing the attention to people. And we do that throughout a lot of initiatives with the restaurant. I know, and that's, okay, that's something really unique and very different as well. The first certified zero carbon footprint restaurant in the city uh, by Zero Foodprint. 98% of our energy that we use in the restaurant, that's electricity, things like for heat, gas, heating water, yeah. that all we source from renewable sources. We use local products whenever we can from local farms really? to local distillers. So you'll see throughout our menu, you see Wiggle, you see Maggie's Farm, you see, uh, you'll see uh, Lawrenceville Distilling Products okay. and only Pittsburgh beers. Uh, and then we do an so cool. extensive recycling and composting. Server uniforms are made by Kia Tomlin. Uh, so we have incorporated Pittsburgh products and Pittsburgh manufacturers everywhere, everywhere we could in the restaurant. What was the inspiration? Like, how did you guys come up with this cool concept? Well, it is a com combination of different bars in Chicago that me and the other managing okay. partners know and love. Um, this gives people the opportunity to like try out the modernist food or try out like cocktails that are foggy or smoking yeah. while uh, not having to worry about spending a whole week's paycheck to do it. Talk a little bit about the drink that's sitting in front of me. If we can get a shot of this beautiful, beautiful concoction. Look at this libation. It is amazing, and I have to tell you, I cheated, and I had a little sip before we started and sat down. It is so good, so tell me a little bit about it. It's a creme de violet, a honey, a honey based gin, cucumber, egg whites, and some chamomile powder. David, thank you so much for having us, and everybody, you gotta come down here, check it out, right here on Penn, baby, that's where it's happening.